In this video, I'm going to talk about miscarriage. Miscarriage is the pregnancy that ends spontaneously before the fetus has reached a viable gestational age. And this usually happens before 24 weeks of gestation. There are six types of miscarriage, which are threatened, inevitable, incomplete, complete, miss, and septic miscarriage. And I'm going to talk about them one by one in this video. The first one is threatened miscarriage, where there is uterine bleeding less than 24 weeks of gestation, and there is no cervical dilatation and also no product of conception pass out. The conceptus is threatened to turn into a miscarriage. And these are the few characteristics, which is there is no pain, the cervical os is still closed, and the uterine size corresponds to the period of amenorrhea. Moving on to the next one, inevitable miscarriage. There is pervaginal bleeding, abdominal pain, and cervical dilation at less than 24 weeks of gestation, followed by expulsion of product of conception. So this type of miscarriage, it is impossible to continue the pregnancy. The characteristics are pain, cervical os is open, and the uterine size also corresponds to the period of amenorrhea. The third type of miscarriage is incomplete miscarriage. This is when the entire product of conception is not expelled. Instead, there is still a part of the conception left in the uterus. So for incomplete miscarriage, there is pain, and cervical os is open, but the uterine size is smaller than period of amenorrhea because part of the conceptus has already been passed out. For complete miscarriage, this is when the products of conception are completely expelled out. There will be pain, but the cervical os is closed and the uterine size is smaller than the period of amenorrhea because the conceptus is, has already been passed out. Moving on to miss miscarriage. When the fetus is already dead but still retained inside the uterus for quite a period of time, the mother doesn't know that the, there is already miscarriage because there is no expulsion of any product of conception. It just stays inside the uterus. There will be no pain, the cervical os is closed, and the uterine size is smaller than the period of amenorrhea because the fetus has already, is already dead and it is no longer growing bigger. As for septic miscarriage, it is any miscarriage that is associated with clinical evidence of infection of the uterus. For example, the clinical evidences are fever for 24 hours and more, or purulent or foul-smelling vaginal discharge, and also lower abdominal pain. These are the symptoms that might indicate septic miscarriage. This is a picture that concludes the few types of miscarriage. You can look at these pictures. To have a better understanding. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.